young players tend to make a lot of mistakes. So that's why today, we'll show you some of the basic errors that young players make. But first, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Finally. Finally. Yeah, I, uh... <sighs> this is Coach. Yes, practice is canceled, Terry. It was in the email that I sent. You got it. Take it easy, have a good night. Sorry about that. That's okay. That's crazy, sorry, you were saying? It's really nice to spend. Oh, one more. This is Coach. Canceled. I got, gotta let you go, I, I'm beeping. This is Coach. I canceled the whole practice. This practice is canceled, don't come to practice. Hello, this is Coach. Uh, canceled practice, okay. Oh my gosh, you were saying. Yeah, I was just gonna say that I'm really happy that we finally Oh great, we'd like to have the... Hey, Coach. No more repeated announcements. Ooh. Inform everyone on your team at once with the Band app. You can also check who hasn't read your announcement. Being a leader has never been easier. Band, trusted by 8 million leaders worldwide. Thanks, Band. Well, if you haven't figured out by now, Band is an app that allows you to organize your team. You can schedule practices and games, chat with team members, post videos, and more. And the best part is, you can download it for free in the description. Poor body position when receiving the ball. When you move to receive a pass, you don't want to turn your back to the rest of the field. This makes it so that you can't see what's around you. So that's why, when you're moving to receive a pass in this kind of situation, you want to turn your body a little bit. Enough that you can still see the passer, but also see what's behind you. The only exception to this would be if a defender was following you too close. Playing with your head down. If you're always looking at the ball while dribbling, you're not going to be able to see, well, basically anything that's happening on the field. One way to fix this is by practicing dribbling, while at the same time keeping your head up and looking around. Now to be clear, in a game this doesn't mean that you should never look at the ball. It just means that when you're dribbling, you should regularly glance upward to see the rest of the field. Standing flat-footed. When you're near the ball, you don't want to stand or walk flat-footed. This will make you slow to react if the ball comes your way. But if you're on the front of your feet, you can adjust quickly and react to different situations. Power over placement. Many young players prioritize powerful shots, even though they don't have the accuracy to go with it. See, shooting with a lot of power and accuracy takes years of practice. So, if you're a beginning player, you should probably focus on simply placing the ball into the corners. And if you get that down, you'll consistently be able to score, at least from close range. Not protecting yourself. If you don't use your arms to protect your space, defenders are just going to push you over. So that's why you always want to have your arm ready to hold them off. And if needed, be ready to bend your knees and lower your center of gravity, making it more difficult to knock you over. Over dribbling. We all know players who like to dribble a little too much. To make sure that you don't become this player, you have to do two main things. One, you have to be aware of teammates in a better position and actually pass to them. And two, you have to be aware of your own abilities. Because if you're not that great at dribbling, 
or if you're not fast enough to get past the defender, then you probably just shouldn't dribble at all, at least not in a competitive game. Lack of awareness. If you don't know who's around you when you receive the ball, it's just not gonna go well. So that's why you need to be constantly looking around when you don't have the ball. Continually switching between watching the ball and scanning the rest of the field. Letting the ball bounce. When a ball is coming to you from high in the air, letting the ball bounce gives opponents a chance to fight for possession. But if you're able to control the ball before it bounces, you can put the ball on the ground and protect it before defenders arrive. Not knowing your teammates. Not all teammates are the same. And if you don't know that, you're going to end up giving the ball away. Some players are faster. Some players are slower. Some of your teammates might make that run behind the defense while others are probably going to want it played to their feet. So if you know your teammates and how they play, then you can give them a ball that they can actually handle. All right, everyone, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football.